Hello everyone, this is Giuseppe Maggiore and in this video tutorial we'll show how to extend on the behavior of the pre previous tutorial. If you remember, what we did previously was to add this cube to our scene, connect this cube to the Unity Cube script that we've built in C Sharp, and then run our own Casanova script, which takes the Unity Cube, changes its color by every half a second switching between green and red, and a very simple result is, as we could imagine, that the color of the cube switches between green and red. Now, instead of having a discrete switch in color from green to red, let's make the transition smoother. Let's add a factor that is a floating point value between 0 and 1. Starts, of course, at 0. And this factor is going to say how much the color is going to be blended between white and black or between whatever other colors we might want to pick. So while the factor is smaller than one, we go up by 0 0.02 seconds. Uh, and while the factor is greater than zero, we go back down by 0.02. Now we have a value of factor that oscillates between 0 and 1 smoothly. At this point, let's change cube.color. Oops. And we do this by doing a linear interpolation between color.white and color. Yeah, black is said. Let's say color.blue by a factor of indeed factor. Now let's add that back to Unity. Let's wait until compilation is done. When it is done, we'll see that the console says done. Otherwise, we'll see an error. Okay, says done. Bottom left of the, of the screen. We run this. And as expected, the color goes smoothly between white and blue. Alright, this is it. Thanks for listening and goodbye until the next tutorial.